It's like building a house in mathematics. You cannot start from the roof. You have to start from the foundation. Which makes 23 over 288. So you learn something. So like how to do fractions properly. I had students here, they tell me that in elementary school, believe it or not, when teachers in their class and they tell them, I didn't like it math, don't worry about it. You don't go in a class and tell the students, I don't like math, and you teach them math. I used to go into a test and be crying before I'd even written it, or crying as they're handing, handing it back, and they haven't, I haven't even found out what I got yet. A stage university, the exam. What are you doing there? Yeah, one, two goes out, one, two goes out, one, two goes out. And a three, and a three, and a two. I did have a couple math teachers where if the chapters were too tough, they would just forget about it or they send us to the computer room, right? And George doesn't like missing out on anything. He likes doing a whole textbook, and I would do that with George. If a teacher wasn't going to cover it, we were still going to cover it, so that I'd be ready to go into university and still know how to do it. Myself, I really, that's what I want to do for a living. To become a teacher, a math teacher. Now, these days, I will tell you this. The failure doctors become teachers. And they hate this. They hate the teaching. They're only there because they didn't get to med school. And then the poor kids pay for it. In grade three in Europe, they learn how to deal with mental math. They teach them. If you have to take from 40 out 12, first you go down 10 and then you go down 2. You don't try to figure out with your figures. If I have to go 8 plus 6, they tell them, go 8 plus 2 is 10, then plus 4 is 14. And these days now, they try to teach them like some problems with uh, investigated things and some students are really are not people that in low grades they're going to start investigating things so and they're not in high schools and elementary schools to develop themselves by themselves they have to really be taught certain things and ask them to do questions to develop themselves otherwise why they have to go to school they can stay home and do it by themselves it's easy for students who are gifted, right, who, who it comes naturally to, but for everyone else, we're kind of in the middle of the pack, and we can't teach ourselves math. I mean, you can read a textbook, but if you don't get it, you don't get it. Like, you need someone else to help you. So I had this guy, Adam, who was having an assignment in algebra and geometry, and I helped him with it. He gets a 50. And he comes back to me and goes, George, oh, I'm so upset, I got a 50. I go, how you got a 50? I help you with the assignment. I made sure the solutions are exactly like the textbook and the solution man. He goes, I didn't do her way. Everybody teaches the same way. It's the same curriculum. You don't go and say, oh, you do my way. What your way? She's not Newton. She's not like someone that writes books in mathematics and develops mathematics. This is like high school math. I'm, I'm over 65 and I'm working this part time now. And still, I love what I'm doing. You never had this in school because I never helped you those grades. When they come, I go, OK, let's try to help this guy to get out of the frustration, anxiety, and stress. So I coach them. I tell them, listen, we are a team. When I had a class, my class was my team. I was trying to make sure my team is going to win. And teaching them mathematics correctly and get them in the right level, that's how a team wins. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.